There is a toxic brew right now in the United States, and this is just one more example of that, of white nationalism. Uh, the manifesto that apparently this uh, shooter wrote that says that uh, Hispanics are taking over the state of Texas and changing the country. And I can talk to those white women in the suburbs that voted for Trump and explain to them what white privilege actually is. That when their son is walking down a street with a bag of M&Ms in his pocket, wearing a hoodie, his whiteness is what protects him from not being shot. And now I'd like to ask white Americans who are sitting near you to please uh, stand up and if the African-American uh, citizen would, would be willing to allow a white American who wishes to apologize to you and take part in this to hold your hands. As I speak, I'm going to ask the white Americans in the room to please repeat after me. Uh, this idea of replacement, there is this very toxic brew of white nationalism that is arising. And I know that that doesn't reflect by any means, by any means, the vast, mass majority of Americans. But unfortunately, what we see is an increasing number of these incidents, these mass shooting incidents. When their child has a car that breaks down and he knocks on someone's door for help and the door opens and the help is given, it's his whiteness that protects him from being shot. That is what white privilege in America is today. On behalf of myself and on behalf of my country, To you and all African Americans, from the beginning of our nation's history, in honor of your ancestors and on behalf of your children, please hear this from my heart. I apologize. George P. Bush called this white terrorism. Not many other Republicans have used that language. Um, do you think it, you, do you, do you think others need to in order to get the president to see this problem? I wish they would call it out, that they would be honest about what's happening here. Please forgive us. With this prayer, I acknowledge the depth of the evils that have been perpetrated against black people in America. from slavery to lynchings to white supremacist laws. I think instead what we need to do is address the issue with common sense gun reform and also address this toxic right. white supremacy that is brewing in the country.